This is Dr. Caudill Miller with Dr. Miller's Guide to Neurology. We've been talking about headaches lately, and we've been talking about the mechanisms, the biochemical and electrical mechanisms that occur in a headache. We've talked about constriction of the blood vessel followed by vasodilatation. This is a vascular mechanism that happens in a migraine. Blood vessels really vasodilate. Then there's this release of chemicals. That's the biochemical mechanism. And the tsunami of electro, electrical activity across the brain. And then the trigeminal vascular mechanism. So we have drugs in each class we use, and we sort of try to think through each patient and guess which class of drugs we should use. And the vascular mechanisms we use antihypertensives. Um, Enderol is the drug of choice. It's very, very safe, and, and you know it works great. You can take it for the rest of your life. I was in a meeting at Harvard years ago, and they were talking about health, and one of the cardiologists said, if it was at all possible, we'd give every American a baby aspirin and a beta blocker and a multivitamin you know, for the rest of their life because it reduces afterload and makes the heart beat easier. So Enderol is a drug of choice. It's fairly safe in pregnancy. Um, you start at very low doses and aim for what I call beta blockade, heart rate around 60. Um, the problem with Enderol can take three to six months to, to work. So they have to be patient with it. You just have to encourage them that this will get better and you can take it forever and then use symptomatic treatment during this period of time. You also can't take it if you're an asthmatic. It will trigger an asthmatic attack. You can't take it if you're diabetic on insulin because your blood sugar can drop and you won't feel the hypoglycemia and then you're out. Um, you can't use it with heart attacks, uh, heart patients, you know, um, severe bradycardia and some arrhythmia. So if someone has heart disease, I would talk to their cardiologist before I'd use any beta blocker. It can also drag you down a little bit. Um, so a third quarter, a fourth quarter basketball player, a third period soccer player may feel, you know, tired. Um, you know, and, and not want to take it. Uh, just start at very low doses and build up. But I love Enderol, particularly in, in, in young people. It also can cause sexual dysfunction, so you don't use it in men um, that are sexually active. Um, Verapamil is the second one in this class, and uh, Verapamil is a calcium channel blocker. Not a lot of side effects. Constipation the main one. Some people get a little tremor from it. It can it cause a slow or fast heart rate. I don't really see that. I use it in healthy people, particularly you know, men that are sexually active, you know, that have hypertension, you know, you just change their blood pressure to wrap me and see if it'll kill two birds with one stone. Atacan is an ARB. It's another great first line drug for hypertension. So another patient who has hypertension um, is on a different blood pressure medicine, switch them over to Atacan and see if it will help. So those are the three main drugs that I use if I'm thinking of this vascular mechanism of headache. So subscribe to my channel, like, make some comments, and more later.